Hi, I'm Christopher Green, and I'll be your host for this edition of Movie Facts. If you've seen the original Pixar film Finding Nemo, then you know it was a classic. The sequel, Finding Dory, has just hit theaters and has pleasantly surprised critics and audiences alike. But let's dive a little deeper into those waters to learn some unforgettable facts about our forgetful friend, Dory. Number 1. Speaking of unforgettable, the Nat King Cole song of the same name was performed for the film by pop artist Sia Furler, a cousin of Peter Furler, founder of the band Newsboys, who have had prominent airtime in another franchise, the God's Not Dead films. If you want to know more about those films, then you might want to check out the reviews done by none other than Movie Facts regular host Kevin McCreary on his other channel, Say Goodnight Kevin. Number 2. Alexander Gould, voice of Nemo in the original film, now 22 years old, spent 10 months living in Israel, including time in the Negev Desert teaching English to elementary school children. Alexander also played a minor role in Finding Dory as Carl, a delivery truck driver. Number 3. Disney had been planning to make a Nemo sequel before Finding Dory through the now-defunct studio Circle 7 Animation, but that plan fell through when Circle 7 got, well, defunct. In 2012, rumors again surfaced about a Nemo sequel, this time being produced by Andrew Stanton. On Twitter, he denied these rumors, stating, Didn't you all learn from Chicken Little? Everyone calm down. Don't believe everything you read. Nothing to see here now. Hashtag, sky is not falling. But as we truly learned in Chicken Little, the sky was not falling. But there were space aliens. Uh, that is to say, while there was no Nemo 2, the rumors weren't fully wrong. A sequel was on the way. Number 4. Stanton was later inspired to create Finding Dory after watching the 10-year re-release of Finding Nemo in 3D. He said his parental instinct kicked in when he thought about how easily Dory's memory loss could get her lost or in trouble. However, he was afraid the film would not live up to the original, so he kept the idea a secret until he was fully sure it was a story worth telling. Man, Pixar has integrity. Number 5. Finding Nemo wasn't the only film to inspire creative decisions in Finding Dory. In fact, the ending was revised after Pixar executives saw the documentary Blackfish, which showed the dangers of keeping orcas in captivity. The original ending would have had some of the characters stuck in a sea world kind of setup, but the new revision gave them the option to leave. And there you have it, 5 facts that you might not know about Finding Dory. If you like this, please click subscribe, and please check out our sister channel, hosted by our brother, Say Goodnight Kevin. Until next time, I'm not Kevin, and those are the facts.